Hey everybody, and welcome to the 25th Qt tutorial with C++ and GUI programming. Um, today we're going to learn a little bit more about the Qt main window, so go ahead and go um, New Project Qt GUI Application and call this Status Bar Fun. Uh, you can name it whatever you want uh, and put it in the usual location wherever you've been building these. Make sure you've got the Qt main window selected and just next 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 till you get here alright now if you've been following along with these tutorials you know what the Q actions are so we're just gonna make one real quick called do something and then we're just gonna drag and drop the Q action whoops onto the toolbar and we can set up the go to slot triggered and this is all review for you so far let's add in our includes Oops. We'll say cute core. And as you know, when you click that action, it's going to trigger this block of code right here. Now, what we're going to learn today is a little bit about the status bar. So let's say uh, UI status bar and you want to do show message. Now you'll notice show message has two parameters or I should say two arguments and one of them is optional. So you say a message and the optional parameter is the timeout. So let's fire this up, run it, see what happens. move the window over here, you click it, and you might be wondering why that didn't show. What's going on here? Well, we notice how we got two. Let's try doing 2,000. You might be going, holy smokes, Batman, 2,000? Because it's in milliseconds. Notice how when you click it, 1, 1,000, 2, 1,000, and it goes away. Whenever you do the show message, it's in milliseconds. So if you sit here and go one, that's one millisecond. It's going to paint and disappear so fast you'll never see it. Now if you omit that parameter and just run this, because that's an optional parameter, when you click this, it's just going to display. Now I'm not sure if it stays there forever on all platforms or just some, but um, when you leave out that parameter on Windows, it'll just sit there, I think, just forever could be wrong, so don't quote me on that. All right, now, one thing that's usually very difficult in other programming languages, but is actually very easy with the Qt framework, is adding controls to that status bar. So let's go into our main window.h. Let's just add a few includes here. We'll just add Qt core. And, whoops. Cute GUI. And let's say we want to add in a, we'll say, Q label. And we want a pointer, so we'll say, call it stat label. And a Q progress bar. Let's jump into our constructor code here. Say stat label equal new Q label. And we're just going to make this the parent. And if you remember your your C++ programming, this is just a reference to the current object, which in this case is just the Q main window. So Q progress. How do we get these into the status bar? It's actually very simple. You go UI, status bar, and we'll say add permanent widget. Now you notice there's an add widget and add permanent widget. What's the difference between these two? Well, an add widget will allow the show message function that we just used to overwrite it, where the add permanent widget makes it permanent. It can never be overwritten. 
All right, so let's just add the stat label and then UI status bar add permanent widget and we are going to add the stat progress all right save your work compile and run this might take a second it's Friday night my computer's virus scanning there we go you notice there's our progress bar and there's the label it doesn't really say anything so you don't see it so let's actually say stat label set text hello and there it is now how do you tell where these are going to be placed very simple it always places from right to left if you wonder what this blank space over here is that's the text of the progress bar so you can actually say stat, pro stat progress and we will say set text visible we'll say false and let's actually just for the sake of clarity here let's actually discuss one other thing you'll notice that when you're adding the permanent widget there is a second parameter it's not shown up in the video but it's called stretch now what stretch does is determine how far this will stretch across the screen for example if we run this now the progress bar only goes so far but if we add in a one and run it you notice how it takes up the whole bottom of the status bar now and notice that when you click do something the message isn't displayed because we've set these as permanent and then you can just manipulate these the way you normally would for example you can say stat progress dot set value and we'll just say 45 because I know that's just under half compile and run this now when you click it there you go so that in a nutshell is how you add things to the status bar this is Brian thank you for watching I hope you found this video educational and entertaining and uh, stay tuned